the defending champion on my left fighting out of the red corner entering the wing wearing black trunks with pink trim fighting out of and proudly representing his hometown of philadelphia pennsylvania in the united states he weighed in right at the super bantamweight limit of 122 pounds or 55.3 kilograms he is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with an outstanding record of 21 wins, no losses, eight wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his fourth world title appearance, ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated, reigning, and defending, unified WBC and WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, introducing Cool Boy Steph Steven Ford. And his opponent across the ring, tonight's challenger, the popular three division world champion fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with blue trim, hailing from Zama Kanagawa, Japan. He weighed in at 121 and three quarter pounds or 55.2 kilograms with a sensational record of 24 wins, no losses. He has 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his 20th consecutive world title appearance, here is one of the acclaimed and renowned stars of boxing and pound for pound greats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard-hitting, undefeated former WBC Light Flyweight World Champion, the former WBO Junior Bantamweight World Champion, and the former undisputed Bantamweight Champion of the World, introducing Nahoya, the Monster! and the dressing room when a clean fight. Touch glove. The time has arrived. What Stephen Fulton said of hearing those who doubt that they don't believe in me. Well, let's make them believers, he said. The task is in front of him to defend his titles on Inouye's turf. Round number one. And Timmy, do you expect Inouye could come out fast here and test Fulton off the 13-month layoff? Absolutely, you know, but right now he's showing some respect right now for Fulton's game. Anyway, hasn't yet decided to attack. What he's doing is he's just taking a look at him. But trust me, I assure you, once he gets his range, he will start to attack Fulton. Of course, range will be critical tonight. Remember, Stephen Fulton, a three and a half inch reach advantage. The naturally bigger man, taller man. Always been at 122 pounds. Anyway, worked his way up from 108. See, right away, you can feel the intelligence of the fighter just with his movements. In a way, feels that from Fulton, that he's smart. That's the reason why he's not just rushing in there. He doesn't want to walk into anything. Fulton is a slick boxer, sharp shooter, great counter puncher. Bring out of the way, that long range jab to the body from Inouye. Inouye tries to come with the right hand around the guard. And the up jab. So interesting to see that low lead hand from Inouye starting off like that. Good jab. Very solid jab from Inouye. You know, we talked all, all night about Fulton's jab, but what about Inouye's jab? It's quick, it's accurate. It's on point tonight. Goes with the jab to the body again. Level change. Versatile offensive attack, as always, from Inouye. Now goes upstairs with it and follows Fulton back to the ropes before the tie-up and the separation from Hector Afu. Taking advantage of that movement. You know, Fulton thought he was clear, thought he was going to get on his bike, and Inouye chased him down, cut him off.
Stolten falls short. In a way, getting rough on the inside. Gets the warning from Afu of wrapping around the neck. And now falls in off balance on his own with that free right hand able to punch away. And a warning for behind the head from Afu. Veteran referee from Panama. End of one. Both guys, both fighters exchanging jabs right there. In a way, getting the best of it. And this is what I was talking about. Fulton was moving, trying to get out of range, out of position, and in a way, recognized that and attacked him. In a way, very successful with the jab in round number one. Up jab. A vertical jab to split the guard of Fulton. And also an up jab. It's coming from a different level un under underneath the guards of Fulton. Right back to it. There it is again. And there's the first right hand that is able to land. And it comes with it again. And then a four-punch combination that included a left to the body from in a way. The speed and power is real. The speed and the power of Inoue is real. Fulton is doing a good job in being patient. Blocking shots, moving when he has to. Double jab, comes upstairs with the right hand. Fulton puts up the guard and backs out. So a lot of those shots are blocked, but you can tell the effect of those punches. You see Fulton, even though he's the bigger guy, when he gets hit, he gets somewhat knocked off balance from them heavy blows coming from Inouye. Fulton steps forward, Inouye backs off. You can see how calm and in control he is early on here. As he comes with another four-punch combination, tried to go to the body with that right hand in the midst of that. There's that jab, and there are the levels. Went upstairs and then to the body again, Timmy. In a way, it's sharp. When he attacks, he doesn't want to miss. He wants to make every punch count. Foden's having a hard time finding his range and getting any offense started, really. It's the quickness and sharpness and speed of in a way that's giving him fits. Like a viper, that striking ability. Very, very twitchy fighter is in a way. And it's the speed at which in a way closes the gap. Fulton's having a hard time with. Right now, Fulton on his bikes, just trying to avoid shots from now. Double jab right hand, then pauses and brings the power right hand around it. You just said it, that speed to close. All of a sudden, he's in that middle range and you're in the target zone against Inouye. Here comes Fulton now. It will step forward with the right hand. Fulton yet to find consistent offense against the monster. No, oh, but I like his composure. He's weathering the storm right now. Fulton using defense movement to get out of range. 